Been live for two and a half hours. Not bad. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't look like an old lady. That looks like Rizé. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? You can, wait a minute. There's the old lady to the left. You can see Rizé right there. What, did, are you okay? Is Yosuke blonde? What the, then who's that? What? <sighs> uh, are you Rize? Yeah, so? No way! Are you really Rize? Uh, Yosuke, look, obvious that, my dude, you don't know how to interact with women. I'm sorry. I love you, Yosuke, you're great. You just, you really get, you gotta read the room, my dude! What do you want? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Wait, is this a female character that actually knows how to cook? Uh, uh, Kanji, order something. <laughs> <laughs> Yosuke, you're asking Kanji to talk to a girl better than you're failing it, dude. Uh, give me some dialogue options so I can get us out of this mess. Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmonoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. How did people oh. miss... She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Dude, you put on a show when you're on TV. Why would she's not gonna act like that 100%? But also, like, how did people mistake her for an old lady? <laughs> Man, but it's really her. I'm so glad I came. Mission complete. Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Yeah, whose fault is that? Um. Ha. Uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Oh, I'm sure you have plenty of those. Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. <laughs> My man Kanji is just like, does not care. You little, why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet or what? My man, that's too far! This is like the ultimate breaking of the bro code! You can't just do that! You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. <laughs> Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. Uh, how do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? <laughs> the size of the bus that Kanji just threw Broske under was massive. The <laughs> Trolls or that is, that is a great comment. I love that. Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Oh, <laughs> how did Yosuke actually get in there? Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. We really shouldn't be giving away all of this information. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. 
Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Can shadows have different physical forms? Like, could Shadow Rize have a larger bus line? Because I still think it's Rize that's next on the list. Otherwise, it's the other main character? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Whoa, seriously? Thanks. Yosuke Senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Oh, thank you. Later that day. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. No, chat, please, no one put any spoilers in chat. You will get timed out. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. <laughs> oh no, Rize is gonna accidentally sell us out. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Yo, that's incredibly rude. Yosuke doesn't dress, uh, dress like a gang member. How dare you? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. What could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim was Saki Konishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we going to be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, everyone's been to the tofu store today. Uh, I will probably play Persona 3 at some point. Probably, def definitely not this year. It'll be after the Royal, most likely, if I if I even play it. Oh my goodness, something in my throat, sorry. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I don't know, why don't you tell me what you talked to Risei Kujikawa about today first, and then I'll tell you. Fair's fair.
I'm not gonna lie. I talked about the cases. I told you to keep your hands off this. You're not my real dad. Listen, this is a job for the police. This is an anime life we live, Dojima. The police can never pull off anything. It's definitely a job for teenagers. <sighs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei-chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. The tense atmosphere continues into the night. Well, now Nanako's gonna have to commit another murder because she's upset with her dad again, because as we all know, Nanako is the murderer. It's raining tonight. Oh, really? Something appear on TV? Let's find out. A figure appeared. It's her straight up hairstyle. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized, of course. This girl. It's Rize Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. I knew it. What if it's actually her evil twin sister? Yeah, I'm gonna call Yosuke. Let's do it. You hung up. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Let's get it. Uh, yes, I would like to save my progress. Thank you. Save up. 20 hours already. My goodness. I'm saving over the wrong save file. Good job, me. So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Broadcasted on TV. Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Risei, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the Midnight Channel before they disappear. You know... When it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Plot. Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. I don't really know what else it could be at this point, so you might be onto something there, Yukiko. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. When the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Maybe it is. Maybe we need to come up with a, a fancy word for, like, the area where everyone's minds make up the location of an alternate world. Like the metaverse! I think so, too. Oh, as all 
always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well... Uh... Um... Well... Um... You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh... <clears throat> lost in thought. I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? Well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure that... Even if the murderer isn't Adachi, necessarily, Adachi's still, other than Nanako, of course, is, like, number one on my list that I think he's the murderer, mostly because of that silhouette and what he said when we first, uh, became a social link with him. But, uh, I really think that the murderer is just doing it for fun. There is no grudge, there is no common denominator. I think the murderer can only throw people in if they've shown up on actual television for some reason. For some reason, he has that criteria, that he has to see them on TV and then he can put them in the TV world. And so he's just throwing in whoever he can as a result. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act. This can't possibly go wrong. We gotta go with donuts and milk. Uh, I'm not really into milk, but I'm down for donuts. Unless we're talking about chocolate milk, then I'm in. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. What? For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. How's that too much of it? Juness is a giant department store. Of course they have disposable diapers. Y y Yosuke, why do you want disposable diapers on this stakeout? You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Uh, did he say disposable diapers? Wait, you're, we're going to move past this line? There's no explanation for why he wants disposable diapers during this stakeout? What brings you here? This isn't suspect at all. Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? Oh, you've been hired to stalk us. Okay. I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. You really have the, you know, maybe you're not the killer because you just talk too much but maybe maybe it's like toby from naruto where it's like aha toby's not a major threat he's an idiot but then actually then it's like i am Madara uchiha and i will end the world you know that kind of deal so what are you kids up to buying snacks we were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see risei-chan oh i see hey i'm on my way there too Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. <laughs> Not a bad guy to have around. I did see a soundsmith. I think. Didn't I? I already responded to that, I thought. Maybe I didn't see it? I don't know. <laughs> 